Hey, what's up guys? In today's tutorial, we are going to plug in a DHT11 module into the Raspberry Pi Pico and get an output for temperature and humidity. Well, my name's Andrew and let's go ahead and get into this. As we transition over to the wiring diagram, it's going to be similar to the previous video I did regarding the LCD in your messaging system. So don't worry, in the description below, I'm going to have a link to the driver itself. We're just going to focus on the code in this video, but obviously you're going to need the Raspberry Pi Pico, some jumper wires, they're all going to be mail to mail, the LCD, the DHT11 sensor module, and let's jump into the code. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to include the LCD driver within the descriptions as a downloadable. Transition back to the sensor temperature, I made a Python file just called center underscore temp. So let's go ahead and run this. And obviously you're gonna save it as whatever file name you want onto your Raspberry Pi Pico. As this is loading up data, I'm gonna put my finger on the sensor and let's go ahead and talk about what some of this is doing. Keep in mind, if you guys do download this from me, you have to keep the driver file name as it is here, or you could rename it to whatever you want. But I recommend just keeping the name is just for the simplicity of it. All the magic happens in the while true statement. So the sensor itself is going to start pulling in data. We're going to create two parameters, one for Fahrenheit and one for Celsius. I'm from the Midwest. So to me, I'm used to working with Fahrenheit. This is just the way I grew up with. I also have Celsius in, in here. I understand um, Celsius has a much bigger population of people that are accustomed to it. And then finally, humidity. My print statement, this is actually gonna print on the shell itself. So this is what we see displaying. And then we're gonna have two lines for the LCD. So line one, line two. Line one, I'm just gonna call in the temperatures, both Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, within here, I'm calling in that first parameter, which is temperature F. We're gonna we're not gonna have any decimal places, and then I have F as an indicator. Uh, same thing with C for Celsius is gonna be my indicator. So just keep in mind uh, the LCD that I do have, I could have up to 16 characters of space before space runs out. A workaround with this is you could create a scrolling effect, and I might do this for a future tutorial. But finally, we're having this refresh every two and a half seconds. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Uh, the, you, the thing that I really love about this is how little code it does take. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments below and let's talk about it. My name's Andrew, and I'll see you at the next video.